What is up, y'all? Peep the back bling for sure. What is up y'all, SLX Fortnite, the Fortnite tutorials are here. So for Fortnite what you want to do is when you're building and practicing, practice during 360 and shooting. So if any of you know like box fights or the pattern, the pattern is build, shoot, build, shoot. So what I'll practice is I'll just go up, open up builds, put a stay down and shoot and I'll do that like a hundred times. The reason why you want to do that is you're practicing the switch button on top of shooting. So in, in a real game, you always want to be going back and forth from shooting your gun to switch mode to build. Like that is what Fortnite is, is just switch mode, build, switch mode, build, switch mode, build, shooting. Like Another thing I'll do too is if I build my pyramids, I'll shoot them. So if you want confirmation for practicing your aim, you can shoot your pyramids. See that? You see how it lights up red? That means I hit my shot. So if you want to practice your sensitivity, do a couple 360s, 720s, 1080s, a bunch of spins, get used to your sense, and then aim at the crosshair right at the pyramid. Boom. You can also do this with any build piece, right? So if you put a floor down, advanced uh, guide for edits once you hit edit you can keep it in pre-build see that i'm gonna select this now every time i press my floor see that after i s unselect my switch mode i'm gonna shoot that you see how it highlights red that's my confirmation see that Another thing you want to get used to also in Fortnite is every time you shoot, swap right after. So I'll go shoot, swap, shoot, swap, shoot, swap. You know, peep the back bling though. I think one of my favorite pieces ever to work with in Fortnite is the stair. It's the most versatile piece because you can ascend it, it's also like a wall. Instead of placing a wall, I just place a stair in front of an enemy. Also, too, you can phase through walls or phase through stairs. You understand what I'm saying? Stairs are very powerful because you can phase through them. So, like, if I'm going to edit this, like, if I go up just a little bit more, when I fall into the stairs, I'll be, like, halfway through. Okay, and then I'm going to hit reset. And then confirm. Okay, and then I'm going to try to get like halfway like towards the bottom, okay? So then when this happens is when I edit, watch, when I edit, I should be in the stairs. Wait, let me try to, get, I'm going to try to get in the stairs. Maybe I'm up, up a little bit more. No, I want to be in the stairs. I want to show y'all how to face, so it's going to highlight yellow when you're in the stair. I just want to get it to work. Ugh. Let me, try to be up a little bit more maybe. Okay, that should be good. No, nope, it's still popping me up. Maybe if I uh, do this. Here, I should be definitely in the stairs now. See that? Boom. So for stairs, it's a lot easier to do this type of phasing with stairs than it is with walls. 
and floors. You can do this type of phasing with pyramids also. It's just super effective with stairs. Like when you use um, pyramids, you can do this also. This is effective because when the stair is like this, if an enemy falls into your box, so let's box up, right? If an enemy falls into my box, um, then what's gonna happen is the stair no longer exists, quote unquote. So if I were to shoot an enemy, here, let me show you. If I were to shoot an enemy, what would happen is this game would ignore the stairs. You see the, how it's highlighted yellow? So since it's highlighted yellow, the game will completely ignore the stairs. So when you shoot, it would damage the enemy. You see how the bullets are going through the stairs and not actually hitting the stairs? It's going through to the, see that? So this is effective for this is effective for box fights because let's say I, I'm I'm gonna put a floor above me, okay? See, since my floor is already pre-edited from earlier, if an enemy drops into my box, they would fall through the stairs also. And then when they fall through the stairs, I have to shoot them. What's nice about this also is when you're in this phase, you're still able to edit the walls around you and it, the game doesn't pick up um the stair like you can't edit the stair unless i move out of the stair see that unable to edit buildings see that because the stairs in the way like you're phasing the stair so practicing phasing into different objects is super important right we're basically wraith you're, you're playing as a wraith in, in fortnite And you can practice this type of movement on a loop. So if I were to... Have my floor placed. Let me do the pre-edit again, just so I can put this back to where it was. After I place a, a floor here. Right, then the idea is to walk to a certain point, right? Look down, place a stair. See that? You see how I'm inside the stair now? And then this way you can set up, you can set up like a, an advantage for a box fight. So after I place my walls, you can also double place walls, double level place walls. See that? You see how, you see how I place walls in two levels? That needs to become a default when you're playing. So let's get to that. Let's get to that actually. As you're playing, every time you place walls, instead of placing walls, switch mode, and then just having them be right in front of you like this, look up also, see that? So I'll, I'll do this a couple times just so you guys can really understand what I'm talking about. I'm gonna hit build, boom, walls. All right. Do this a few more times. Switch mode, and then I'm gonna build sales like, walls like that. See that? I'll do it one more time. The walls like this. Yep. And then if any of you know about magnetism is in this game, now that you have a double level layer, instead of the, you see how I look up? When I press my uh, pyramid, when I press my pyramid, what's gonna allow me to do is place it above. I'll explain to you guys more about magnetism. 
so what magnetism is is there are different parts of the placement for builds that you can't place unless you can attach it to other things for example if i look up and i try to place a, a pyramid looking up you see how it, 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 it turns red i can't place it but then if i look up and then there's something to latch onto you see how it latches this is important for when you're building walls in different scenarios. Let me show you all. This is important for when you're building walls in different scenarios, okay? If I am building walls over here, typically if I were to try to place a wall like looking up, you see how I'm not allowed to, I'm not able to place a wall right there. If I look over to that build, you see how it goes from red and then it, it magnetizes? This is important because now I can do this when I'm building. See that? When you take advantage of the magnetism, it gives you a lot more possibilities. Like with these stairs here, like let's, let's say I was trying to place a floor above me, okay? If I was trying to place a floor above me, it won't let me. See that? Same with pyramids. Like if I try to look up and try to place it, see how it doesn't work? But then if I place a stair, right? What the stair is going to allow me to do now is if I do want to place floors above me, it magnetizes to the stair. See that? And check this out. So I want to place a, a floor over here. See that? And then a, a pyramid above that. Like a magnetism, right? So I'm going to place a floor over there. And then that. Right. What I want to show y'all too is a classic, a classic build that I do a lot. So, peep game when traps used to be in the game, I was the trap god. So, what I would do is I would box enemies up, right? This is how I would box them up. Stay above me, stay right there, right? Wait for them to get through, and then you do, uh, you do a cone, of, you do like something above their head, you box them in. Mm. Right? Once they're boxed in though, we're not done yet. Okay, check this out. Check this high IQ right here. I'm going to open up this wall window, pull that down over here, look to the wall over here, open up my builds. Edit the wall, okay. Any, any window's fine. Once I'm here, I'm gonna hit stair and then I'm gonna build the floors. If they can place. And underneath too. Hit that, right? I'm gonna press switch mode, put my gun out right there. Reset. Shoot again. Reset. Shoot again. Reset. Shoot again. Now, what was the point of this? Isn't the enemy supposed to be inside of the box? Well, yeah, but by me creating the branch on this side. So let me go up here again. By me creating the branch on a different side. What that allows is I have peace control. So I put my builds over here because I have peace control now. So if the enemy tries to do anything, I have peace control and I'm height above them. Right, and since I, I, I comb them in, 
edit right here, edit right here, and the player would be in the box. Right, and if they're underneath the stairs, you edit the stairs. If they're above the stairs, you shoot them. Duh. So, this is gonna be 